Hello everyone and welcome to the series rundown for the four game set versus the Regis Rangers. Usually I'd be at the ballpark to film this segment, but I'll be on the road this weekend representing CSC at the Golden Leaf Awards in Wayne, Nebraska. So the show will continue here in Shattern as the Eagles have had quite some time off from game activity, but they've been hard at work practicing over the course of the week as the series against Fort Lewis in Durango, Colorado was postponed. That was the most recent series the Eagles were to play in, but recent snowstorm hit the state of Colorado and kind of shook up the entire RMAC schedule, a couple of other series being impacted as well. So first up, let's take a look at the visiting Regis Rangers as they come in with a 15 and 13 record, 11 and seven in conference play. The Eagles have a five and 21 record and five and 11 in conference play. So their most recent action for the Rangers was a shortened series, again, because of the weather in Colorado, a doubleheader against Colorado School of Mines. That was at the MSU Denver campus, where Regis would find a 6-2 to victory in Game 1 and fall 9-11 to in Game 2 on the afternoon back on Monday of this week. The Rangers are another hard-hitting team as uh, the Eagles faced the Roadrunners most recently at home, but they too struggled against the Roadrunners like the Eagles as well. So offensively, let's take a look at their leaders as they are led by an infield trio. Um, third baseman Mila Campos batting 409 on the season, while right behind her is Rachel Bariga. She is the second baseman batting 400 on the season. Now the person they have found success with when they've had their runners in scoring position is Morgan Norris, their first baseman, as she has had a gathering of RBIs, 29 RBIs so far this season for Norris. You'll find these players in crucial positions in the lineup as well. Campos usually batting in that two spot, Norris batting cleanup spot, batting fourth in the Ranger lineup, and Bariga batting sixth. On the defensive side of the ball, they are led by pitcher Kylie Hartman, who has a sub-3 ERA on the season, 285 ERA to be exact, while sporting a 10-4 record in the pitching circle. Now we turn our attention over to the Eagles, who are led by a pitching duo of Kenzie Garner and Tori Haug, who both have around a 435 ERA so far this season. The ERA for both of these pitchers slightly inflated after the uh, offensive performance that the Roadrunners put up outdoing the Eagles in the most recent series at home against the, uh, again, the Roadrunners swept the Eagles. So they look to return to that pitching circle and kind of regather their mojo and uh, get, get a little bit of a comeback um, and deflate that ERA over the course of the series against the Rangers. Well, now the Eagles are led on offense by two different leaders, Ashlyn Baca and Lauren Zimmerman, both infielders for CSC at the corner, Ashlyn Baca at first and Lauren Zimmerman at third. Baca leads the Eagles in hits and batting average for the season. Baca batting a 357 on the season, a little bit lower than where she started against the Roadrunners last series, but nevertheless still a really solid batting average for Ashland. And for Lord Zimmerman, let's dive a little deeper into the numbers with the graphic on screen and read the graphic here. Is the average for Lauren Zimmerman right around 313 on the season? So she's in second place for Shadron State in the average leadership. And slugging percentage, she leads in that department with a 613 slugging percentage. She has 17 RBI, so she's the RBI leader for Shadron and has seven home runs as well in her trips to the plate. So overall doing a really tremendous job is Zimmerman. Zimmerman has been the home run leader for Shadron State, has hit a home run in every RMAC series that the Eagles have played in so far. So seven home runs again on the season for Lauren Zimmerman. Expect to see a few more potentially in this coming series. With all that being said, the Rangers had struggled a bit on the road this season. They have a two and six road record in the conference out of the eight games that they've played on the road, but you have to cut them a little bit of a break on this as well as they face some tough competition 
in MSU Denver and Fort Lewis on the road. Those are two big powerhouses in the RMAC conference. For the Eagles, they look to regather their footing here at home after being swept by the Roadrunners and look to secure potentially their first series win here in Shadron on the season. So games one and two of the series will be at 1 and 3 p.m. tomorrow, March 22nd. Again, very important to note the time on that one. Usually uh, the first game of the series would usually start at noon, but starting a little later, 1 and 3 p.m. again for games one and two tomorrow. And then they'll wrap up the series on Saturday, the 23rd, with the games being at 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., pending weather conditions over the um, over the weekend. Unsure of what the weather will bring to Western Nebraska. It can never be certain on what the weather will bring. So we'll hope that the weather holds out. Hope that the Eagles can play some solid softball against the Roadrunners. Again, against the Rangers. Um, you can watch all of the action unfold on the RMAC Network via CSC Live at Shadron State. Dot TV. This has been your series rundown for the Eagles versus Rangers. Go Eagles!